I am here with an update with our with our new lift. So last time that you saw, we actually it was an early prototype of our lift where we had the lift going in this way and it was going out. What we decided to do is we changed it to a more pyramid style so that it um, compacts a little bit better. In there, making everything nice and tight. And we've already cut these guys in half. Uh, Give us a little more room and more spacers, and more, more slides. We've also done an early staging of the string. Um, we still have a few modif modifications to do, just so that the string don't come off the bullets pulleys anytime we go up. But right now, I'm working on trying to mount uh, the motors. So what we're going to have is we're going to have one motor here and one motor on the exact opposite side with a one to three ratio, so we can get a three times the speed rod that will collect the string here and. So we'll raise the lift in, in a cascading effect. This. Yes. Show you just how many of the large wiffle balls will fit in each of the goals. So in the small goal, we have four wiffle balls. In the middle goal, we have nine. And in the large goal, we have 13. Now, be aware, this goal, or this uh, ball poking out of the top, only means you get the maximum amount of points, not for each centimeter above this. Also be aware that the small goal and the large and the uh, autonomous goal here are the same. They both carry four. Our intake mechanism. So what we have here is just a simple roller, but um, we've got the motor in the back here. Every team runs out of resources, and we ran out of the resource gears. So in order to power our intake system, we're using this rounded belt to create a pulley system.